Hello friends. So from this video, we'll start working with database because in my previous video, I have been using static list. We don't want any static list. We want the data to be coming from the database. So the preferred choice of database is H2 database. So you can get the H2 database from this particular link. So in my first step, I'm going to show you which URL you must use or the link that must be used for downloading this h2 database so I will go to h2 database.com from that we have a windows installer and all platform zip so I'm going to use this one so I've already downloaded it to save some time and I have extracted that particular zip file that we get so this is the structure that you will get okay so this is the first thing that you will do you will go to h2 database.com you're going to download this all platform zip you're going to extract it to a directory of your choice so this is how it will look once you open and if someone asks you why you want to use h2 database you can go through these features so the features are awesome of h2 database as it is purely java the driver is also available and it is encrypted and it all also runs in memory mode so that is the benefit that you can get of using h2 database and you can compare now once you have done that you are going to open that h2 database so how you can open that h2 database so inside this h2 database there is a directory called as bin so i'm going to open this bin directory now there are these files which are available so in that you can see there is an executable jar file available so i am gonna double click it so it will open up the browser because it does not the have any desktop application interface it is entirely web based interface so it will open up the browser if for some reason it will give an error i would suggest click on this windows batch file if you're working on microsoft and you can use this shell script to run if you're working on any other platform so it will open up this service in your status bar you can see on the right hand side bottom there is this h2 database engine which is running so in this h2 database engine you are going to select the h2 server so generic h2 server so by default in mine so by default in mine it is generic h2 server because i was working previously and initially it will show you this test something like this embedded and it will have a different type of setting okay so this is how uh, embedded would look like and I want to select the server one but so I'm going to note this driver class name okay because it is already been given to me so I'm going to note the driver then I'm going to note this URL so I'm not going to use this database so it will have some default database so I'm going to use my own database I'm going to call it as online shopping database so this becomes your database name with forward slash and like this so I'm gonna copy it I'll paste it here and the username is SA you can change this username but I'm gonna keep my default settings and password is blank and I'm going to say simply connect So you can see you have a blank database available here without any tables right now so we'll be using this particular database for our project so as you see we with very minimum setup requirement you are able to create a database and it is not very heavy and it is very lightweight that is the benefit you have of using an h2 database now we have to add few dependencies here in our backend project so the first dependency we need to get the driver so driver you can get it from com.h2 database so what i will do i will open my backend project shop, shopping backend project and inside that pom.xml file so the first thing i'm going to have the h2 database dependency i'm going to do a copy and i'm going to paste it here i'm going to remove this version and instead of this I'm going to use this group id com.h2 database I'm going to paste it here 
I'm gonna use the artifact ID as H2 and the version is 1.4.193 okay. once this is done I am going to load our hibernate dependency as well now why hibernate hibernate is an ORM tool so in simple term we have our Java class object that we want to store in a relational database table so who is going to do the job for us so hibernate is the middleware that will help us to overcome that ORM process uh, that is impedance mismatch problem that we have when we try to convert an object to a database relational table so we are going to use hibernate as our ORM tool so we require that dependency as well First of all, I'm going to create a Hibernate version property. The Hibernate version would be this, and I'm going to again do a copy of this dependency. Instead of org dot spring framework, we have it as org dot Hibernate. So I'm going to have org dot hibernate. Make sure the spelling is proper, and the artifact ID is hibernate core. So here it would be hibernate core, and instead of spring version, it would be hibernate dot version. Next, now spring also has this ORM supporting framework available so which has a good integration with hibernate so that will help us to do all the secondary tasks such as transaction management and all those things so we require this spring ORM dependency in our project so I'm gonna include that also so this will take care of our, all our secondary concerns such as the data source management and your transaction management and all those things so that's why I want to add that ORM. Okay, save it. This is done. Now there is one more thing. We need to enable this connection pooling. Why we are using connection pooling? Because database connection is uh, a very extremely rare. You can say the connection connectivity is limited to every database. So to manage that database connection, we are not going to do any coding. We will tell this okay this common dbcp2 there is a class that will help us to manage our database connection so you can learn the concept of connection pooling how the same connection would be shared so for that we are going to use this dependency that is commons dbcp2 so let us quickly add that connection pooling dependency as well you will find me commenting most of the time because that's helped me to identify things very fast so let us first quickly add this org.apache.commons org.apache.commons and we'll have the artifact id as commons dbcp2 And here it would be the version so the version is 2.1.1 so here 2.1.1 and you can save okay once it is saved you can check your maven dependency whether you have your ORM JDBC TX dependency downloaded the H2 dependency that we have added along with your dbcp2 so commons dbcp2 has been added here so you can verify it so that's how we have downloaded all our dependency so now in the next part I'm going to show you how to do hibernate configuration to work with h2 database because we need to do that hibernate configuration to connect with database so all the dependencies we have added so in my next part you will see how we are going to make that connection thanks for watching